Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today we're going to use Deco Foils, our Cricut Maker, and the Cricut Easy Press to create this super fun, super sparkly Drama Queen t-shirt. Okay, to start with we're going to use our Deco Foils. Uh, these are iCraft Deco Foils. They're made by Thermoweb. And you can get them in Hobby Lobby. You can get them on the website. I'll have them linked below the video description. They come in two different ways. These are six by 12 sheets. There's five in a tube and there's a lot of product in there. You might not think it looks like much because it's all rolled up, but they are. There's six by 12 sheets and there's five sheets per tube. And this isn't even all of the colors available. This is just some that I pulled out of my stash. And Thermoweb also makes, um, has teamed up with Gina K Designs and she also has her own line of foils and she has more colors than this, but these are the ones I happen to pull out. Um, these are really cool. There are, these are six by eight sheets, but there's 12 sheets in a package. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but these have like a twinkling star in them. So these are really cool, really fun designs. And that she has those in, uh, this is the twinkling pink, the brilliant blue, the dazzling orange. She also has it in, I believe silver. And she has some other colors that don't have the twinkle in them, but Look for them either in the Gina K packaging or like this. Now, today we're going to use this one because I really want you guys to see how cool this is. You can do, um, they have it in the gold and the silver. And it is called, what is this color called? It is called Shattered Glass in Silver and Shattered Glass in Gold. So these are really fun. So we're going to use, I believe, I think we're gonna use the silver today. And last time I did a video, actually the video file got corrupt, so it's no longer available. I showed you how to use the um, Thermal Web Hot Melt to do a design, but this time we're going to try something a little bit different, and it allows you to do something a little bit more intricate. This is called Adhesive Vinyl, and I'll have it linked in the description below this video. I bought, um, bought mine on Amazon, and I think I bought like five sheets. These are 12 by five sheets. You can also buy it um, in longer sheets, but we're just going to need a small one. What you're going to do is load this. You're going to cut it with your Cricut or Silhouette and you're going to load it just like you would regular HTV. It has a shiny side and a matte side. The shiny side is your carrier sheet. So you're going to put that face down on your mat and then you're going to mirror your image and cut it out. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out with my Cricut Maker and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have cut the piece out and I've just cut off my image. So I'm gonna save this for another project and we're going to go ahead and weed it. This is my new favorite weeding tool. This is a Cricut, it's an awe, it's a hole puncher and I find I really like using this to weed. So I'm gonna go ahead and weed this design and this weeds just like regular vinyl. Okay, so I have this almost weeded, but I wanted to show you just how well this poke, poker tool works to weed with. I know Cricut has amazing weeding tools, so I like, I really like the set, but I happened to pick this up by accident instead of my poker tool or my weeding tool, and I actually really am enjoying the way it weeds really simple to pick up those little pieces. So as you can see, this says Drama Queen, and this is going to go on a shirt for Evie. Okay, so the easy press is up to 305 for 15 seconds. I have Evie's shirt here. I am going to pre-press it, as you always do with the Easy press or any heat press project, you should do that. It takes the moisture out of the fabric and gives you a nice smooth surface. Okay, I'm gonna turn this this way. Just keep the cord out of the way. Now I have the um, Drama Queen that we weeded from the Easy Weed Adhesive. We're going to fold that in half and find our center point, crease it, and then I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm gonna place that down on the shirt. Now remember, we mirrored this when we cut it so it looks correctly now. We're going to use about three finger widths from the collar for a toddler shirt. That's just my rule of thumb. And we're going to go ahead and place that down. Now we're going to put the easy press on it for just a few seconds. So I'm just going to put it on there. 
for just a few seconds. This is kind of like doing heat and bond. All right, I'm going to lift that up. I must have something sticky on the back of my press. I'll do that one more time. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to let this cool just a little bit. Before I remove that transfer. Okay, you want to let this cool before you peel it off. So I let it cool down. I'm going to peel it off. And this has left an adhesive transfer on the shirt. And anywhere that adhesive is, is where the foil is going to stick. So I have taken, get that little piece of adhesive off of there. All right. So I have taken a piece of foil out of here and cut it approximately down to size. Now you guys look how, look at this. How cool is that? And we're going to put that over the foil area. You're going to put the pretty side of the foil facing up, facing you. That's the part you want to see on the shirt. And this time I'm going to use one of the ThermoWeb pressing papers. This is just almost like a parchment paper, but it has a, a nonstick back on it. And I'm going to put that on, protect my shirt. I'm going to head and hit the timer for 15 seconds. So 15 seconds. And I'm just holding it in place. I'm not really putting a lot of pressure on it. My hand's just resting on it. The timer's gone off. I'll remove my pressing paper. Now you want to let this cool completely. You don't want to peel that foil off until the shirt is cool. <clears throat> And now that my shirt is completely cool, I'm going to go ahead and peel off the foil. And you guys, this is so cool. So now, can you see the shimmer and shine on this? How cute is that? I am in love with this shattered glass. And this is a silver, they also have it in gold. But look at that, how cute is that? So there is Evie's Deco foil drama queen shirt. So I'm going to absolutely have to make her some PJs to match this. You know I will. So I hope you guys thought that was as fun as I did. You can find all the products I used linked in the description below this video. Just click under uh, the description. You might have to click show more if you don't see it all. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, and don't forget to visit me on my blog at laurinunamaker.com. See you guys. Bye.